Did you know that you can dynamically type React components and it works in JSX? Let's say you have an input component and you want to pass it either a number or a string and get back the result in the onChange callback. This works, but you have to do some dynamic type checking because TypeScript doesn't know what will come out of the component, either a string or a number. Using a set state like this will not work. To fix this, we can make the component props generic with just some minimal changes. First, add a type parameter to the input props and make it extend all possible types the value can have. Next, specify that the value prop will have this generic type and the onChange callback will return type T. Now, repeat this for the component itself. It looks like this for functional components. Now, we have to do just a little bit of runtime magic for this specific example because we want to return the right value of the input event. But, as I said, this is only for this specific example. The value inside the component is now of type T and the value passed into the component will always have the same type as the one coming out. If we now look at the same code in app.tsx, it suddenly works. The value of the onChange callback is now always a known type. In this example, a number. As a small bonus, this also works if you want to use forward ref of React. I will leave you some links in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you a bit. Have a great day and cheerio!